Hi everybody, this is Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be talking to you guys about growth charts. Growth charts are what we use to tell at what percentile your child is growing. If you recall, when you go to your doctor's office, your doctor will uh, measure the height and weight and head size for your child and tell you percentages on where they fall. A lot of parents are anxious to know what their percentage growth is for the child because everybody wants their child to be tall. Okay, this is what a growth chart looks like. The bottom part is the weight curve and the top part is the height curve. On the bottom is how old your child is and for the weight this is how much your child weighs and for the height this is how tall your child is. So as your child gets older and they start gaining weight the lines or the dots rather start moving someplace on the growth curve. Same thing for the height. Let's take a look at the growth curve and the height curve in a little more detail. You notice there's a little thicker line in the middle, that's the 50% line. That's where um, half of the kids are uh, pretty much for their weight. And this is the 95th percentile. And here's the 5 percentile. Same thing for the height curve, okay? There is the middle, the 50%, the 5%, and 95th percentile. There's also percentiles in the middle too. Now when your child is coming for their visits and we plot them along their growth chart, and if your child is someplace up here by the 95th percentile, I'll let your kids know when you know that you guys are, or that your child is one of the tallest kids on the block their age. And if they are at the 5th percentile, that presents a little dilemma, depending on how the kids feel and the parents feel. So sometimes I'll have to tell them that they are taller than 5% of kids their age, all right? So kids are happy to hear that, but most kids know that means they're also shorter than 95% of kids their age. I'll talk to you a little bit later to tell you all those are still normal, okay? Now, <clears throat> what you'll notice is, as time goes on, this forms a pattern of growth. And that pattern is what uh, I'm interested in as a doctor to look at for your child. It's not the actual weight, it's not the actual percentile for that visit, but it's the pattern of growth over time, which is the important thing to, to look at, okay? Just as there are um, weight curve and height curve, there's also a head size or a head circumference curve for younger kids that we look at. And the head size we typically measure to three years of age. And the head size, just like the weight and the height curve, has a 50% line and also a 5% line and a 95% line and also other percentages in the middle. Now, what's really important to remember is that we're looking at the pattern of growth over a period of time. So the actual percentage number by itself doesn't mean much. It's okay if your child, for example, is growing at the 95th percentile or the 50th percentile or the 5th percentile, but it, uh, it matters most on what their pattern of growth is, all right? So as a reminder, it is not the actual percentage number that's important, but the pattern of growth that is important to know and to look at. I'll be showing you guys some normal patterns of growth and common ones that I see all the time in the office and after that we'll take a look at some patterns that aren't normal or that worry parents. Here we're looking at a growth curve of a person who's been coming to me for a while. So we have lots of data points here, okay? So this is the weight curve, and you notice as she is getting older and older, the weight's always staying at the third percentile. That means that she weighs less than most of the other kids her age. All right, now let's take a look at her height, though. If you take a look at her height, she's been growing at the 95th percentile. So what that means is that she is taller than most kids her age, and when you combine those two together, you get a girl who is tall and slim. This is a normal growth pattern. Let's take a look at another growth pattern. Here's another girl coming to me, and um, her weight is at the 95th percentile. Now, um, she weighs more than most other kids on the block her age. If we take a look at her height, her height's at the 3rd percentile. And um, that means that she is shorter than most other kids. If we take a look at how she might look, we would look at her as being short and heavy. And based on her weight and height curve, I can tell that ideally if the world were a perfect place, she would want to lose weight so she gets more proportional to where her height is, okay? And it's the proportionality that may be important rather than uh, the actual numbers again, too. Here we have 
uh, three patients and we'll take a look at what it looks like when they're proportional and on different parts of the growth curve. So here's a, a person who is 50% with her height curve and 50% with her weight curve. So here she look proportional and average. Now if we take a look at somebody who is 95 percentile with their height and 95 percentile with their weight, she'll look proportional too, but just a bigger person. Let's look at a small or a petite child. Their height might be a 3 percentile and weight might be a 3 percentile. When we compare her to other kids, she'll look small, but she'll still look proportional. You see these are all proportional kids. One is at the average uh, growth curve, she's at the upper uh, growth curve, lower growth curve, but they're all in the normal range and because they're proportional, they don't look too slim or they don't look too heavy for how tall they are. Okay, now let's look at growth patterns that aren't normal and they may cause concern for both doctors and parents. Here's a common one that I see all the time. This is for kids when they're about nine months to around 13 months of age, they may be growing just perfectly fine on their growth pattern and you notice when we connect the dots it becomes a line so that's this is a line that I drew and here we know that as a child is aging their height is fine they're getting taller and taller but now let's take a look at the weight and see what happens they're gaining weight for a while and then something happens at nine months of age and for a while they're not gaining much weight at all see they're just kind of flatlining here on their growth chart that means that as they're getting older and older 9 10 11 12 13 they're still staying at the same weight for example this might be um, 18 pounds for example and they might just be uh, sit staying here not doing much and then you begin to worry well why aren't they gaining weight and all of a sudden they start gaining weight again but they might be at a different growth curve for their weight but now because they're gaining weight um, parallel to one of these growth curves they're okay so what happens here is that babies often start getting a bit picky about what they want to eat and they want to feed themselves and also they start cruising and start walking and some kids start running so they burn up more uh, calories so they don't gain uh, very much weight so this is a common pattern that I see for kids that are around this age mommy and daddy I'm going to start walking and trying to feed myself all right let's take a look at another one here this is a, a child who is overweight and you notice with their height they're continuing to gain height just fine as long as they're growing parallel to one of these growth curves it doesn't matter what curve they're at but compare the weight curve. You see height, they're someplace maybe around 70 percentile, but the weight, they're way over 95 percentile. That means that they weigh a lot more than what they should. And you notice this child continues to gain weight, continues to gain weight, but it's gaining weight faster and faster and faster. It's kind of skyrocketing, almost like an airplane. Sometimes I see ones that go up way like that, which is pretty alarming. So here I have a talk with the parents and the child when they come in to see me and talk to them about uh, healthier eating and exercising, watching their portion sizes, etc. And then I see them next time and boom, they drop their weight. And after that, because they learn how to live in a better way, they start to gain weight again, but at a better rate and a proportional amount to what their height is. So you see here, this is telling us of a weight loss. And here, <coughs> I talk to them about diet and exercise and decreasing their screen time with internet, video games, etc. And then here, they are back happy where they should be. So this is a pattern of being overweight and losing weight. I see this all the time, you guys. There are lots of adolescents and kids going through difficulties with obesity. Um, and just like with adults, yeah. it is just as difficult for kids to uh, learn to control their weight. But I see countless success stories. So I'm always very encouraging to all the adolescents and kids that I see. Right, let's take a look at another growth curve here. Uh, this child, you notice, is gaining in height very well, getting taller and taller as they get older. Let's take a look at the weight, though. They're gaining weight perfectly fine, but something happened here, all right? And now they're not gaining much weight at all. So this child is getting taller, but they're not gaining weight. 
something must have happened. What happened? Well, these kids often are not getting enough calories, so for some reason they're just not eating enough. Sometimes it can be from parents who are trying to be um, ex extra careful and healthy and they cut out some essential amounts of foods, and sometimes it's just from not paying enough attention to kids, for kids who are suffering through those types of environments, unfortunately. <coughs> so this is some, usually a case of not eating enough or having some kind of stomach problem, so they're not getting enough calories. Let's take a look at this one here. The child is getting taller and taller and taller. Increasing in weight, but something happened. You see right here, and how at this age right here, the child isn't gaining ha uh, height, so they're just kind of flatlining here, and also weight, they're not gaining at all. Now this is not normal, and this is very, very worrisome, and, um, and a sign of some kind of a medical condition going on. This is called failure to thrive, and this needs to be investigated so we can help the child out and see what's going on. Um, one thing I didn't show you guys along with this is uh, head circumference curves. They work the same, <coughs> but to simplify the explanation of everything and to help you understand the overall um, use of growth curves, I thought that would be perfectly fine to concentrate just on the height and the weight curve. Well, I hope you guys found that information helpful. It also tells how important it is to go to your child's regular appointments so they can get checked for their height, weight, and head size because, as you can see, it gives a lot of important information about your child's overall health. As always, I would love to get feedback from you and suggestions for future videos. Please leave me feedback through my website, uh, and also you can leave feedback on the bottom of this video page. Thank you.